Hey guys, how you doing? Tommy Roney here, bringing another Pro Clubs build straight to you guys. Today, I have a special guest with me from VFL Hanover, so you guys know that this build is legit and it is top class. JT, um, you know, he's got incredible uh, content on his Twitch, you know, he streams his Pro Clubs, so make sure to check that out. You can see the links below during the whole video. Make sure to check him out on Twitter as well. JT, how you doing? Not bad, not bad. Thanks a lot for having me, Tom. No worries, man. We'll be going through your CDM build, your like elite, you know, pro CDM build. You know, no pressure, obviously. A lot of people will be seeing this and they'll be thinking, right, this must be it. This is the real deal. <laughs> so, you know, let's get straight into it. You know, what kind of height and weight do you use? Um, so, we use 5 foot 7 and 143 pounds. 143 pounds. So, so talk me so, through it. So, why would you use 5 foot 7 in CDM? You know, a lot of people would be like, Right, this is like a Kante build, you know what I mean? It, it literally is, so Kante is probably the most meta defensive midfielder in the yeah. game and I've, I've tried different builds, I've ranged from 5'5 five five to about 6 foot 1 and this FIFA is a lot about agility, so yeah, it is. I, I felt as though being smaller and like being like quite light it, it, obviously it impacts your pace as well, Like so my pace is in the 90s but it also makes it feel as though if someone turns you with a bit of skill which a lot of players will do, it makes it feel a lot easier to actually like come back and then recover from it. Absolutely, I I think you know you're totally right with that. And um, you know, talk me quickly through the gameplay section. So, what kind? Of, do you actually have a CDM? Do you bring a right wing back? What kind of thing do you do? With your um, so section. So I, I I play as a left a left wing back. Left um, wing back, yeah. Yep, I think it's just left because I'm left footed in real life. Oh, okay. So I just, yeah. just got that correlation. But there. If anyone, matter. by the way, wants to use right wing back, I'm sure it will be the exact same thing. There is no difference between left and right. Oh, yeah, 100%. The only thing that I've changed yeah. is preferred fit, and that's left footed rather than right footed. Yeah. No, no, t guys, you know, I, I just, I, I'm pretty, I'm, if I remember correctly, there was um, someone that I was listening to before, and they said that this whole left wing back, right wing back, in CDM, the reason why it works is because it gives you that balance between pace, dribbling and all of that, and also defending stats, and also being able to be agile and all that kind of stuff, like you mentioned before, so you don't get turned. Uh, is that correct, do you think? Oh yeah, 100%. Um, if you were to look at it in Ultimate Team terms, I would practically be Hulik Gang. Yeah, that's the, only thing that, the, the only thing that lets me down is my shooting, and that's because I have no skill points on it. Oh, absolutely, yeah, but you know, at the end of the day, CDM, you know, he has to do all the dirty work at the end of the day. Um, we'll get straight into the skill tree, guys, um, so we can really, you know, get some kind of more tips out of our VFL Pro over here in terms of what he uses and why he makes them so good. So, talk me through the skill tree. Let's start off physical then. Do you have anything in the physical section? Yep, we have everything near enough in physical other than second wind everything. and sol wow. solid player. Wow, so you bring absolutely everything. Wow. Oh, 100% but because you are so small and you're so agile you are really weak yeah. so if you're playing playing up against like a, a, a probably a, a better comparison would be at a corner and yeah. you're trying to you're trying to mark say their central defensive midfielder their central defensive midfielder could be a little bit taller so what you're needing is strength advanced focus definitely Absolutely. jumping focus and ev just everything on jumping I it's, can see the jump is pretty good now it's a big oh, upgrade Hundred percent. Like my, my jumping's eighty-seven, but I can out jump like like centre backs. When that's, I have that's, to that's good. <laughs> that's good. Especially obviously our VFL level where you're facing people, you know, where marginal differences literally define who wins. I'm guessing that's very important um, in the long term. You know, your team succeeding. What? Oh, one hundred percent. Most of the goals that are scored in VFL are from corners. Oh wow! So it <laughs> makes it makes everything re really much important. That's brilliant. brilliant. That's that's brilliant. Um, let's move on to defending. I mean, I'm guessing you know, you've got absolutely yeah. everything on it. Su surprisingly not, no. Oh. Um, oh, wow. We have everything except slide tackle advanced focus. Slide tackle advanced focus is not there. I'm guessing because of the fact it, it takes away the standing, standing tackle, or is it because it's actually useless? It's, it's a bit of both, to be honest with you. Yeah. We don't, we don't really slide tackle. The only time you would slide tackle is if you were to take someone out. Really? Okay. Oh, okay. And yeah. See, guys, there's a tip. There's a VFL tip for you. <laughs> it's just it's it's situational to be honest. Like, I I think I've made about five slide tackles the full season. Wow. Oh, there you go. Like, Don't slide tackle. 
Oh, so Slay Tackle, honestly, we, our, our team is the worst for it. Like, we'll, <laughs> uh, we, we, we'll go on to block something using a Slay Tackle, and then you, you'll give away a penalty because all the other person needs to do is run into you. It's yeah, that yeah, yeah. basic to give it away, and it's just like, really? That's smart, then. That's smart. You have to adjust at the end of the day. You have to adjust. No, 100%. Especially these five foot four wingers all the time. Like, they're just running at you, and you're like, oh, God, I can't, I can't slide in because they're just going to do a little ball roll, and that's that. Yep, f five foot four, five star skills, and you're literally just like, what do I do here? Absolutely, absolutely. So dribbling, you talked about agility and balance. Do you improve it even more than what you have? Yep, hundred you... percent. Oh, you do improve it even more. I mean, you get into the eighties, right? With agility the and balance. High eighties for agility. I'm wow. actually quite low eighties for balance. I'm only eighty two. Okay, well, um, that's still very good for CDM. I mean, if you compare oh. it to a lot of the FIFA cards. 100%. I don't really think the balance makes a lot of difference. Agility, though, is your main thing. Mm. 100%. So, what do you add to your um, agility and balance? What does your skill tree look like there? So, my skill tree looks like I have 5 in agility. Um, okay. So, I've got it up to agility advanced focus. Yeah. And then I've got the agility speciality yeah. and agility and balance. And okay. then. We only have the three on balance because I didn't really find that five made much of a difference. It only adds plus three, but okay, it also yeah. removes one of your dribbling. Oh yes, I see that. It's, I see that it does remove it. Yeah, so it's just like kind of like it's, there, there's no real point in it. Okay, yeah, I get, what you mean. I get what you mean. And on the other side, do you have anything for the dribbling and ball control? Or do you we just have it? we have dribbling um, focus, and oh, then wow, we okay. have. Ball control one and dribbling one. Um, okay. As a centre centre defence mid, you don't really dribble a lot. I would say this. The, the only way I would say you would dribble a lot is if you're playing a four two three one. Okay, and then yeah, you're like, understand, yeah. You would need to push into centre mid, but other, other than that, not really. But even then, we still have high dribbling, so we've got up to eighty six. Okay, nice, nice. I think I got it correct here. Um, if I'm just gonna go through it quickly with you. So for the skill tree on the left side. I have the free agility, then the free uh, balance, then it goes down to agility and balance, agility speciality, and the agility advanced focus. Yep. And then on the right side, I have obviously the two at the top. Um, then it, then I go. Do you have two on ball control? Um, just one on ball. Just control. one on ball control, and then you have two on dribbling. Um, just the one on dribbling as well. Just one on dribbling. Well, there we go, guys. See, I made a mistake. Thank God I um, actually clarified that. <laughs> but now you can see guys why the balance dropped as well um so yeah guys this is how he plays dribbling and i mean you know you can take it from him he's he's the pro here um he's way better at this than me guys um look passing what do you say what do you say with passing because i Most mean important. cdm big big role is getting the ball forwards 100 percent like p p people all trying to say let's see the is just passing the ball to your left back your line yeah. but when you're playing like what we've played predominantly this season is 4-2-3-1 we haven't some games we haven't utilized the center attack midfielders enough so what we've had to do is try and force it in a sense yeah so yeah. The, the passing is so important it's I, I can't stress enough how important it is i'm guessing there's a lot being done here then with passing everything on the left side everything okay. <laughs> everything bar the long passing advanced focus yeah and on the right side, there isn't actually a lot like we're a, a short crossing passing I mean, team. Yeah. You wouldn't get crossing so, usually. Nah, nah, nah. We, we we don't cross really at all. Yeah. Um. So what we've only got on the or what I've only got on the right side is long passing and then two on curve. Oh wow. Okay. That's all. Yeah. The curve really jumps up though. That's a huge curve. Oh, hundred percent. With the swerve it's, pass, that means being insane going forward. It's it's brilliant. So it is like, I absolutely love the swerve pass because at times, like, if you're playing a three at the back and you're trying to counter-attack them, because obviously Perfect. I'm quite small and agile. Yeah, you can um, quickly turn, do a little yeah, uh, move. Yeah. Qu qu quickly turn and then play like, a, that swerve through ball out to our winger or up to our striker and then we're in and go. And we're yeah, laughing. No, that, that sounds incredible just thinking about it, honestly. Like, <laughs> if you have a good team chemistry especially and you can make those runs and you trust each other, then it's absolutely lethal. Yeah, definitely. One. Um, and you've said it before, no, nothing on shooting. Not even weak foot or anything like that. Well, th I've just realised there, the only thing I have on shooting is heading accuracy. Oh, okay, yeah, no, that makes sense, that makes sense. Uh, where, where'd you go up to? You don't go up to powerhead, uh, do you? Or do you? No, I, I don't go up to powerhead yet. I've not unlocked the full skill points for that. Oh, okay. 
see it making much of a difference, to be honest. Okay, yeah, no, I get what you mean. So where'd you get uh, up to with the heading? Uh, so least? we're just up to three at the moment. Okay, yeah. Cobb that. Um, and I'm, gu I'm guessing, are you looking to increase the weak foot in the long run, or do you think it's not that important? I wouldn't say it was that important. Like the, the tip that I've got is when you're in defensive midfield and you need to make a pass, the be your best friend, if you're on Xbox, is holding RB. Yeah. Like j just to try and shimmy, and because you've got like quite good agility, it's just to try and put it on your like stronger foot. Yeah. Okay, um, that's so R1, by the way, on PlayStation. If anyone does, uh, if anyone asks in the comments, <laughs> that's yep. R1 on PlayStation. <laughs> so I, I would just say like, that's that's the most important part of it. Yeah. Yeah, Sometimes I, it can let you down. It can't. Yeah, I mean, you know, at the end of the day, is you know, three star weak foot. But like a lot of CDMs, you know, um, obviously in real life, they're very good at this. You know, being both footed. But in the game, we know that people like Kante and Sissoko and all these players, then usually three star weak foot. They're not actually higher. Yeah. Um, so you know, it's kind of normal if you if you go. I mean, coming from that perspective, I know pro clubs is a bit different, but it's kind of to compare it for people, it's um, it's kind of a similar thing. Basically. Oh, 100%, yeah, definitely. Um, pace, I'm guessing you have a lot there. Yep, we have everything near enough, except from the bottom acceleration and the bottom sprint speed one. A bottom acceleration, bo a bottom sprint speed. Okay, yep. okay. So, but we're you up to... the middle as well? Yeah, 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 we go through okay. the middle, yeah. Okay. Oh, I see it, yeah, 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 I see it now. Wow, that's pretty quick. That's, that's a very quick CDM. <laughs> That's an insanely quick CDM. So, I'm, I'm guessing no one can drill past you. No, not not at all, really. <laughs> um, I would say if you, if you were to look at the stats, I think I am second in defensive midfielders in our league. Wow. At the moment, um, but what I've noticed as well is I've tried bigger builds, I've tried smaller builds. This height with all of the pace on it is just perfect. It looks so, insane. I, I sit back from corners, so I'll be marking probably their small striker. Yeah. And any anytime the keeper tries to like, even hoof it, like so he just like, he does the long the long punt. I'll be there about eighty percent of the time first. And yeah. even like the twenty percent that I'm not there, I can still hold them up. Absolutely. I can still ta tackle them and then or even just try and get a players back in position. So I find that it helps a lot. I mean, look, I'm just looking at the attributes, like the general overlook of things, right? And it is looking insane. Do you know what I mean? Oh, it's, like, it, it's mental. That is incredible. That pace, everything. Looks like a Future Stars card. You know how they boost <laughs> all the stats. It looks exactly like that. Listen, JT, thank you so much um, for coming onto the video and helping, you know, others with this CDM build. It's a bit of a longer one, guys, but, um, you know, I'm sure you guys can appreciate JT for coming. Make sure to check out his Twitch. Make sure to check out his Twitter, guys. Make sure to stay updated with all the stuff that he does. Because the best way to learn is by watching the people um, that obviously give you these tips. Uh, my Twitch is also down below, so make sure to check out my daily streams. JT, thank you so much for coming. Thanks a lot for having me, Tom. Thank you. And um, guys, until next time, peace.